shifted, and I don't even know how they managed that. <clears throat> I guess they were just too fast for me. Okay, well, with that in mind, forget that province, we can do it that way. Yeah, I mean, plenty of people are extremely unhappy with me. Even the Mamluks take uh, a hit there. And I get most of the money, too. This is great. Well, they just need to continue dying. No! Bosnia's gone. What did I do to deserve everything I'm getting in the game today? Alright, last fort's gone. That must be the end of you. Except for the little bit of extra money I'm taking. I'm greedy enough. I want that extra money. Merchant Guild's getting it. Uh, getting a bit cocky here. But damn, they would give me a lot of money if I could extort them. And I want to extort them. There we go. Now I can take them for everything that they're worth. Which is quite a lot. And the Ottomans have taken the mission to conquer the knights at long last. I would want that province, but I'm not about to stroll over and take it. Jake, you gave away cake, so you get good stuff in the game. That's true, I did give away some cake today. It wasn't even my cake, but that's not important. Alright, so this is what we're going to do with you. It's going to make me a lot of enemies. Jampur, Malwa, Delhi, Bengal, Multan. I could be facing the entire Indian Thunderdome. That's kind of exciting in a way. Uh, okay, I'm going to want two diplomats free for this, so I'm going to wait till the next month so I can do some horrible things to Shirvan. Oh, oh snap. He's back, and he's mad as hell. Mad as a bloomin' hatter. Did I lose any cannons there? Five, five, that's a no. Okay, what I'm saying is, I want to claim another province off of you. Higher development is better development. So 15 sounds good to me. Kaching. It's good because most of this is uh, rightful Azerbaijani land. So let's get you home. It'll only take a few days. I'm gonna peace you out for that sweet land. For myself, of course. Grand. Alright. Folks, we go home. With, in whatever way possible. I mean, I'm not fussy here. Uh, I'm gonna be taking this for myself. I hope they don't mind. It's nice and cheap to take too. This I would love to core for myself, but I think I'm going to just let Fars take it and core it. That seems to be for the better. But I'm gonna give uh, quite a lot of this to Fars, except this. I want. I can't give land. Uh, in this area to a subject, because otherwise the Ottomans are like uh, very liable to chomp chomp. So what next? I'm going to push out Hassar. I'm not going to give any Hassar land to Ottomans unless it gives me crazy amounts of favours. I don't really count three favours as crazy amount, but they're happy enough with a white piece. Would they be happy with money? Who isn't happy with money? I mean, I'd love to take some war reps for myself, but then they are noticeably unhappy. But that's alright, a bit of ducats always smooths the wheels. So what's going to happen next? Well, I'm going to pray that the Ottomans don't go to war for a month. No, actually, I shouldn't even have to do that. We'll just make our peace here in a few days, because I want a free diplomat. Grand. Right, but I dare not let the Ottomans uh, think about anything. Alright, and a military coalition wants to form against me. I am not surprised in the slightest. That is dangerously... Uh, dangerous. <laughs> and Fars are getting a bit rebellious as well. I'm going to feed this land to Fars whilst I can. I need to uh, improve relations with the Ottomans pretty desperately. And I need to worry a lot about the coalition that's forming. If Baluchistan want to join in, Gujarat thankfully don't. Bengal do. Mm, it's okay if I keep certain people out of it. 
I need to declare war on you right now, and I want Nagai to be a co-belligerent. Because they are guaranteed by Russia. And I don't mind the Ottomans slugging it out with Russia for a bit. I mean, I'll probably mind it a lot if I get coalitioned and they don't want to defend me, but I'm a nice guy. They'll surely want to help me out. What's Jake's current absolutism? Looking pretty good at 16, but it could be better. I'm sorely tempted to increase it, but not yet. Okay, first and foremost, getting rid of this land, because I want Fars to convert it for me. This one has religious zeal, sure, but it only has it for a short period of time. It'll also bring down Fars' uh, liberty desire, if temporarily. Da so that's Dashstan. And Achvaz. Achvaz. And what's it? Hoviez. Remember when you had to sell these individually, it was a bit of a pain. And I'm going to pay off those Timmy debts because he's getting a bit too mad at me. I'm already coring you, I'm coring you. And with that done, I don't think there's anything I need to do whilst I'm in relative peace. How I would love some of that support. I could make a generous donation to justify it. Could even seek their support or something, but uh, I don't know. They wouldn't like me all that much. Yeah, screw it. I do, however, want some stability, but I should have done that before all this war lark. Okay, we'll just do it this way. They still want to join me in wars. Attitude towards enemies is hurting, but I just promise them land, and Nagai gets to bring in their good friend, and I get to gobble up the last of a jam as well before they start thinking about coalition sandwiching. Shervan, unfortunately, may cause me problems. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Make it happen. Uh, I can't think of a reason not to do this, so we're doing it. Excellent. There we go. Russia's involved. Russia has a lot of everything, so we actually need to pull our weight here. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna take a take a nap. Still, though, there are people to kill, and kill them I shall. I'm not done yet, though. I want another war, but I have to wait a month. I don't want to wait a month, but I have to. I want that next tech as well, but I should be spying on people with much better tech than me. Trouble is, it's hard to find such people. Much better tech. I guess Oman are kind of okay on that front. Maybe I should just build a spy network on them. Uh, but I really need to have the Ottomans a bit more friendly with me. But I have to declare this war first, so... The trouble was I took a lot of land from a non co belligerent and that makes some people platinum mad. Uh, Alright, you're not there yet. Onwards kill them. Speaking of killing them, I gotta do this before he joins the coalition. I don't want to not do that. I only have a couple of claims, but that's enough. And we'll make it the claim for Melicates. No Ottoman help, but that's okay. I just really need to unite this land. Oh, just in time. Malwa, Jampur. Well, as long as Gujarat stays out of it. I mean, I'd like Bengal out of it as well. There are a lot of people that I would like out of things. We'll work on Bengal because they are dangerously strong. Well, that strikes off a man as a good person to spy on. I think it might just be better for me to forget spying to get this stuff. But I don't need this tech anytime soon, I should consider that as well. Getting the Ottomans to not hate me is more important, so I will improve relations with them. Freaking wonderful. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Lands need to be taken, and they need to be taken swiftly. I want to jam out of this war. So, we'll give you five cannons with two siege, and that'll be gone in an instant. And I'll give 
A couple of mercs there, and... Uh, some more mercs over there. Yeah, my vassals are all pretty happy, right? Who wouldn't be happy under me? Hmm, maybe don't answer that. Now, Shirvan is a bit of a consideration. I'm really hoping that Timmy get to work on that. Oh, right. They're already getting to work on this for me. Well, that's nice of them. It allows me to respond over here on the double. Great, I've got my five universities. So I'm finally getting the splendor I deserve. I knew I could count. Don't understand why people thought I couldn't count. I did maths, for God's sake. So I can't forget, Shirvan is actually not involved in, uh, in all this fighting. With the Ottomans, at least. Isfaha, Hello, Jam. Hang on, a jam was not taken. Fars, would you please get on that? Instead of not getting on that. Uh, cannons on the front row take a lot of damage, so please stop killing me. There we go, Fars know what to do now. And their failed liberation of this will make it fall even faster. This is good. In a way, I mean, it's also not good that I lost so many cannons, but what you gonna do? A jam need to be wiped out. No, Jake, we don't think you can count. We just know you cannot read. Man, all this horrible slander. Don't know where you guys get it from. So these guys need to be eliminated. And wow, they they just want to disappear. I should do this whilst I still have the bulk of the contribution to all of this. I don't think it'll be enough to make the Ottomans go away from me. They're at 151 right now. But a jam were non co belligerent. So, I mean... Well, they're also a different culture, so how do they affect Mamluks? Six? Okay, they won't affect the Ottomans. Not realistically. But the point is, they're gone. And a lot of their cores can go as well, because I desperately need some prestige. That's a big part of why I'm doing all this fighting. And there's no reason for them to have these cores either. Is there any point in me keep taking this province for myself? It is disgusting, a baddie land. I think I'll give it to Fars when he conquers it. Actually, I wouldn't mind uh, Fars having Shushtar as well. I'll probably give them both over to him. I don't want this garbage. And he's a lot better at uh, converting, even if it is glorious Persian land. I think I have a difference of opinion if you say Teddy Floppy Ears was pure... What did you say? Pure glory. Yeah, definitely a difference of opinion there. Alright, Fars, I'm using you as a conversion machine. Don't let me down. Oh, what's this? There we go. Does that mean I want this province then? Yeah, it's Sunni, and it's in my culture group. Glorious Luri. Has anybody played as Lur? Luri? Luristan? Luristan. Pretty cool. Alright, and that's the end of a jam. Finally. Oh, that's good. That is so damn good. And that's another core to make. War exhaustion is growing, but what you gonna do? I need my cores. Um, yeah. I hope they don't go militarist and suddenly want all my land very soon, because that is some crazy aggressive expansion. Okay, we need to go on a rampage here. Should I take care of your rebs? You have enough people in position to do that. I need to kill Shirvan. There's a significant risk that killing Shirvan will make the Ottomans hate my guts too much. Significant. But I'm trying my best to keep the autos on my good side. question is, is there anybody else I should be wary of? I want Bengal out of the coalition, yes. Gujarat, I've already kissed their feet, but I can kiss some more. Oh, I can kiss all day. Mamluks have entered. 
They mean business. Okay, great. Earning extra prestige is lovely, because I need that badly. Uzbek are joining as well. That's not so lovely. Let's just take this province so I don't have to worry about it. I think they see that we're busy in this war, and so they think now is the time to prepare to attack us. But as long as I'm done in about nine years so I can fight trans Oceana with everything I've got, then we're all good. So you're running away? I don't like that, and I will fight you. You may have a 5-3 general, but I have balls of steel. Where are you gonna go? I mean, I could just rush into the mountains, but I'm not playing that game. Oh, that's kind of good. Ah. Screw it, just kill them. If they want to run away to better lands to fight, then all the better for me. All the better for me to kill you with, you see. So, Ottomans versus Russia. Who's going to win? Bearing in mind, I don't want the Ottomans too tired. I just wanted to give them some land, because I'm a nice guy. It's going to take 64 years for all that aggressive expansion to go away, Jake. Well, good thing it's not my... Po oh, his general just died! Either that or he unassigned it. But I rather think he died. That's a huge difference. Gujarati opinion's looking great. Soon Bengal should be out of this as well. Come on, let's just torch him, especially if he goes down to dry lands. Oh, he decided that generals are good after all. Wow, he's... he's fast! Look, I just want to kill you. There's nothing more to it than that. Shirvan's pretty strong. I should remember this from when we fought before, but... It's okay, they will lose, they will die. Yikes, these guys are getting a bit too hot to handle, probably because my armies are dying. But I can solve that. I need to I need to puff out my chest anyway. So I have no problem going above force limit at this point. There's something of a desire to get the cartridge. It's very important for that plus two artillery fire. But I really want to finish quantity ideas. Land force limit uh, increase there, too good to pass up. Jake, how's Europe going? Uh, we haven't looked over much of Europe, but it's blobbing hard. It is very hard mode after all, so it's what happens. Now there's no forts in this guy's pathetic country. So we're going to make the most of that and hopefully just chase down and destroy his army. Ha! Huh. Seems my subject had the same idea. Good man. He's got some highlands. He's got some pretty nice provinces, basically. I want to fight him in those dry lands. So move over there and prepare to die. I don't care how good your general is. I'm just better. Remember, I want uh, 50 prestige out of all of this. 50 prestige is important to me. I shouldn't be leaving my, uh, my people so idle, though. My diplomats, I mean. They're not really people, but they're close enough. Bengal, I should be able to get them out of the coalition, although what I'm doing here might make them even angrier. Uh, the Ottomans are a little, uh, a little terrifying with this. <laughs> oh well, as we say where I'm from, Fitkinamindi. Probably could have made Russia my rival, that would have helped in a 
number of ways. Oh, he's recruiting units in my uh, my land. What a guy! I can almost respect that. But Forrest is going to kill him anyway. So how's the war going up north? I've seen better. I've seen worse. But it's okay because in five years. If this war goes on for five years, and it might be wise of me to make it to take five years, given the everything situation. Um, I lost my train of thought already, basically. Huh, what was my train of thought? War, take long. Because I'll have 100% war score if we reach that far anyway. Cannons on the capital. Bohemia, Hussite, or Papist. Papist dogs. Only a Catholic would enjoy an alliance with the Ottomans. Isn't he still defender of the Catholic faith? We had a way of checking that, right? Da, 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 da. Oh, no, no. Spain, of course. Ooh. We've had a baby. Not our heir, but... Goodbye to war exhaustion without me having to lose my glorious absolutism. Ah. Can't wait to get this. I won't be able to milk it for very long. 30 years tops. Well, maybe a bit more. Still, I'll take it as they say. We have more cannons here than necessary, so let's ditch a few of them into our fighting force. I need to grab all the prestige I can off of murdering Shervan. But, you know, 50 is all I need, so it's not too bad if I just get enough from eating him. But, oh my god. Mamluks don't seem to care much, but I think other people would. If that Kiyun, pardon me, get uh, minus 32... It's probably safe to assume that that's what the Ottomans will get. But I really, really don't want Shirvan to exist. Wow, I could actually make them not exist. That is a ridiculously dangerous amount of aggressive expansion. Not to mention overextension for me. But it would give me enough prestige. Yeah, I like prestige. Maybe it's a bad idea. It's also a lot of land to incorporate at one time. Just channel your inner, inner Napoleon, Jake. Well, the Ottomans turning on me is a death sentence. I can't ever forget that. Where's this guy even going? We'll keep you guys together just in case he decides to ambush us. He's got rebels as well, what a joker. I'm not old. Well, Grand Gesture is nowhere near swole enough to take on these guys, but uh, Hatim. Hatim is. Being greedy has been wrong before, Jake. Shh. Nobody needs to know. Why is this guy trying? I think he's trying to be faster than me, and at that he will most likely succeed. But this is why Force March was invented. I want that prestige, friendo. Not with Grand Jester, though. He is too slow. Now, it's not a lot of prestige, but it helps out a wee bit. I just can't afford to spend it on my subjects. Ah, lovely. Maybe this is too greedy. There is such a thing. It's been known to happen. What is a more clever thing to do is simply cut off the Ottomans from eating this land. Ah, oh, right, the Ottomans are there as well. I mean, there's no intense reason for me to take these provinces. We know that. But I want that paper. I want it more than I want that uh, that wool. 
So I could do this to them. They're still liable to join a coalition against me. I can take all their money, I can take their war reparations. I want a big truce with them so that they don't do horrible things to me later on. Um, get rid of that core. I need a bit more. I need more prestige out of all this. 16.9 is so close to enough, but it's not quite enough. Military access, military access, military access. There's lots of that going about. Hmm. <laughs> Give up claims on me would be something. One, two, three, four. Seventeen point nine, huh? You know, that would be enough. I'd have to hundred percent you, which somehow I have not. Is something off with this? Oh, I don't have his capital yet. That can be changed. All done. Also, Bukistani is wishing to rise up in my beautiful conversion state. I'm sure he can take care of it. It's next to his capital, though, but... Ah, Fars have this covered. I could also tell my subjects to stay in their own lands and not interfere in this Russian war, because it's just going to get them hurt. But on the other hand, I kind of want Russia to die here. Nope. No, actually, my subjects can just... Wow, I can pay off your debt again. Not sure I want to, but... Uh... Go home and go home. That should work. Yeah, I need that prestige. And I need to not be too greedy here. Besides, I can claim what's left and eat them up at my own pleasure. And I'll have my own pleasure. Why do nations blob so much on very hard mode? Because they have massive buffs that help them deal with all stability issues. Right, this is actually pretty good because I'm taking a whole load of manufactories from them as well. Do they have any universities? Of course he doesn't. He's Shirvan. He's got a barracks though. He's tried the barracks defense and it didn't work for him. And just to be sure, my relations with the Ottomans are perfectly good. 157 and he doesn't want this land. Hopefully he doesn't when he turns militarist as well. And he'll turn militarist. As the Ottomans were talking about. Ooh ho 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 ho. Oh, that's so, so close. All right. We've got the admin. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got the admin power. And finally, we can upgrade our government rank. We're now... There we go. Oh, swimming in prestige, which I could probably use on my subjects. And swimming in things to core as well. There we go. I'm glad they lost their increased core creation cost around here. As Starnan put it, now it's just land that you want to rom 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 rom. And that's exactly how we put it. Uh, okay, everybody, back to the capital. We'll sort out composition and everything. Just hoping that Russia gets destroyed. And I should probably think how best to... Dip rep would be nice, but... Um, hmm. How to stop everybody from killing me is the aim of the game here. Bengal are still in the coalition, but they'll probably leave when I am not at war anymore. And it would be prudent of me to marry them, just to keep good relations over on that side. Same that I think I did with you. Well, I tried to do with you. Maybe I should try a bit harder. Oh, Shervan! Slandering my merchants. This is why I should have killed you. Oh well, we're getting our cores done. And then the conversions will follow. Hopefully the conversions will follow. I'd want to disable my forts as well, but I can't risk that at this time. Alright, this is satisfactory, but I have free diplomats now that I should be putting to work. But where and how? I want this province, for example, off of Transoceana, so I should probably spy on them. They also have cracking tech, so that's a good reason there. I've capped out relations with you, maybe I should just keep someone on you indefinitely. 
I need to strike Transoceana as soon as the truce is up, and that is in 74. Who else has a truce coming up with me? Just Trans and Afghans, and Afghanistan is a rump state. They're also allied with Gujarat, which is a bit scary. Gujarat are also subsidizing them. I wonder if they're trying to subjugate them. Mm, that I don't like.